Previously, we learnt about how microtubules help the cell. In this video, the focus will be on microfilaments structure and function. Microfilaments have the appearance of a double-stranded helix. Similar to microtubules, microfilaments also have polarity and the ability to polymerize and depolymerize, with the plus end of microfilaments elongating faster than the minus end. They are made up of globular actin monomers, which polymerize to form filaments. The actin monomers bind ATP, which is hydrolyzed to ADP following filament assembly. Let's take a look at the functions of microfilament. The first function is cell movement. Microfilaments are important for cell movement. They are found in philopodia and lamellipodia, which are respectively the thin and broad protrusions from the cell membrane. Microfilaments rapidly polymerize and depolymerize, hence allowing the cell to move. Cell movement is essential to allow a cell to respond to its environment and for processes such as phagocytosis, where a cell engulfs a foreign particle such as bacteria. The second function is cell division. Towards the end of mitosis, the process of cytokinesis divides a cell into two. In the same way that microtubules associate with motoprotein dynein in flagella to create movement, microfilaments associate with a motoprotein known as myosin 2 to form a contractile ring during cytokinesis. Contraction of the ring is produced by sliding the actin filaments relative to one another using ATP. This pulls the plasma membrane progressively inward, thereby constricting the center of the cell and pinching it into two. The actin-myosin association is also very important for muscle contraction. A muscle is made up of muscle fibers, which are composed of laterally aligned myofibrils. The myofibrils are made up of sacromeres, the contractile unit of a muscle cell. The sliding action of the thick myosin filaments and thin actin filaments allows the muscle to contract. Lastly, microfilaments are also needed for vesicle transport in a cell. Just as your transport route home can involve taking the MRT and LRT, so microtubule and microfilament networks can work together for transport within the cell. 